Bonjour, c'est Virginie and you are watching French Truly TV, your destination to truly become a little bit French. Today, I am bringing you a French special guest, mm, ma maman. Bonjour maman. Bonjour. She is in Seattle for two weeks, so of course she must be part of French Truly TV for two reasons. I live in Vienne, a little Roman city next to Lyon. Two, she's organizing and guiding the trips to Lyon and surroundings with me and Vienne is part of our journey. Today, I'm going to show you how Thomas Jefferson visiting my little Roman city, Vienne, changed the face of the US. Vous êtes prêts? Vienne was a really important spot when it became part of the Roman Empire in 45 BC. Still today, there are many monuments proving this grand past. One of my favorite is the Temple d'Auguste et de Livy. Why is it my favorite? It had an amazing evolution. The Temple d'Auguste et Livy is built around 20 BC to celebrate the first Roman Emperor, Auguste, Augustus, and his wife, Livy. After the fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th century, it becomes a Christian church. Until la Révolution Française, of course, which hated the church and decided to bring it down. Democracy was to replace theocracy. In 1792, churches are closed down. A club révolutionnaire from Vienne takes over. The Roman temple becomes le temple de la raison. Which brings me to my initial remark. A few years before the French Revolution, Thomas Jefferson accompanied US diplomat and Francophile Benjamin Franklin in his French travels. Guess where Jefferson stopped? Vienne! Eh oui! He especially loved Le Temple d'Auguste et de Livy and used its looks to inspire a lot of American capitals. In the 1800s, the temple became a library and a museum. And now it's just an incredible monument to look at while sipping on your drink at the Café du Temple right in front of it. Want to see the temple with my maman and I? Click on the link underneath this video for more info. And as always, if you like this video, subscribe. This was your French friend Virginie et Marie-France helping you become a little bit French. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Au revoir.